Welcome back to the Directors on YouTube channel. This is part three of our mini series, and today we're going to look at turning our research from perplexity into high quality PDFs, flyers, and PowerPoint presentation using gamma.app. Let's dive in and see what gamma can do. So jumping over to gamma.app, you may need to create an account and log in. This is my account, and you can see that this is something that I use on a pretty regular basis to create um, flyers, PDFs, and presentations. I'm going to create a new document using AI. And from here, it's going to say paste in text, generate or import from a file or URL. I'm going to go import from a file. So upload a file. I'll go to my downloads. And this is the document that I pulled out of perplexity in part one. Give it just a moment while it uploads the file. And this is where you can choose, I want to create presentation, web page, document, or social media posts. I'm going to do a presentation. Okay, so from here, you have lots of options to change the length of the content. I'm going to preserve the integrity of the content. And I'm going to say card by card, which is then going to break up this content into different slides or cards. If I say continue, from here you can pick the style of the theme. So you can see this is a very clean, bright theme. I can go through options over here. There's one that is like a wine color, a dark color, and I can scroll up and look at a whole variety of different themes or create my own. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so that's kind of new and cool and interesting. I'm going to generate my content from this theme. come back to our content and make changes as we like. Uh, just from a quick glance, it looks pretty impressive, pretty, pretty professional. If I come over here and go to presentation mode, I can hit my uh, arrow keys left and right. I'm not sure why there's a woman here with a beard. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> But this is the thing, we look through and we can change these things afterwards. There's AI for you creating something um, a little bit unusual. So if I hit the arrows, I can go through, see what the slides look like. All these others look pretty fantastic. I'm not sure what's going on there with the bar that goes right through his face. So obviously that needs to be changed. And then I can hit escape and go back to my document and make my changes. As I made some observations of my slideshow when I was in presentation mode and realized that there's some problems with some of the imagery, I want to go back through and it's very easy to replace the images either by uploading my own images or by using the AI prompt tools to create new images. So this one's obviously got a problem. First of all, it's a group of people surrounding these awards with their laptops um, which has nothing to do with mental health therapy and this lady here uh, has a beard. So if you click on edit image you can come back to the original prompt. In this case I'm going to create a completely new prompt. Um, And then you can come through. I'll just leave it as it is because I want it to kind of match what has already been done. And then here you can say what format, landscape, or portrait. I'm going to go with square. And then you have a whole plethora of image models, which is great about Gamma because you can tap into a lot of different image models that are very powerful. So um, I've done a previous video on Leonardo and it's pretty good. So I'm going to use it and just hit generate. And 
and it gives me several different options um, I don't really like it but just for this video I'm gonna choose that one and you can see it replaced it it's a bit abstract it's a bit odd but it works for this YouTube video example and then there was another one down here where the guy had the bell bar going through his head so let's have a look at that if I double click on it it takes me back to the prompt let's just try this and enhance the prompt and I'm gonna remove that prompt this time and generate let's see what it comes up with this one's kind of cool I like that close this out and then you can just go back through the rest of the slides replacing images or replacing text as you want or even redesigning how the slide should look um, in this case I don't want a reference slide so I'm just gonna come over here and delete it and let's go back to present we can see just how my slideshow looks. So the last thing from here is I can export it as a presentation or as a PDF. You go to share and you choose export. In this case, I'm gonna export it as a PDF because this might be something that I wanna to send to clients. And if we open that up, we can see it does a very nice job of exporting a wonderful presentation flyer PDF brochure style document that I can give to uh, clients. Thank you so much for tuning in again today for the end of our three part series. Hopefully you find Gamma.app useful in your professional life. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and please subscribe Tata for noob.